and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jace Karma. Going to be trying out Jace again with Ionia. Jace looked really good with Ionia before um, because of Deny, basically, because, you know, a lot of people playing Jace decks right now. Deny is going to be really good against these six cost slow spells that we have. But gonna gonna combine with Karma because if we can have Karma enlightened, then we're gonna be doubling our spells with Karma. As y'all know, whenever Jace is leveled up, you're gonna be doubling your first six plus cost spell each round. So we could really, you know, we could triple up spells. <laughs> basically, it doesn't double. To you know, it's not it's not four times. It'd be three times. You know, an extra time with each one. Um, so that could be really cool. And so we're gonna be uh, trying that out together. We're going to be playing a card like Ritual Renewal, where we could, you know, play this with the leveled up Jace or leveled up Karma, you know, either one, heal for 14 and draw two. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Um, but, you know, there we go. We're going to have Flash of Brilliance. We'll have Pharaoh's Finance here. Those will be able to make six plus cost spells. Also, like Flash of Brilliance can, we'll, if, with a leveled up Karma, can make two spells for us uh, for the cost of zero mana. You know, pretty normal Jace deck besides that. So let's get to it. Let's try it out. Let's play some Jace Karma. We're heading on over to Ranked. Feel pretty good about this one. Then after this, we got two donation decks with Trundle Brom and Lux Aurelian Soul. Uh, Trundle Brom's with, with concurrent timelines. And then uh, later tonight, we'll have a special stream where we'll uh, be going through the Path of Champions with Jace. Okay, so we're playing against Jace Lux. So against Jace Lux, I think, you know, we got that for round three. That's good. I think we want to find Deny. I could see the, you know, maybe I should be keeping the Karma. Right, just keeping Champion. Karma's not amazing here because of Shock Blast, like Karma right away. Shock Blast is kind of just, you know, that's a rough one for him. But I really want to find Deny. So that's why I was kind of mulliganing looking for Deny. I think Aloof Traveler should be pretty decent in these kind of matchups. Make them discard their expensive stuff. It's an awesome day for progress. Discipline and steel. Show them our metal. Yeah, in a world of three threes, a three four is king. We'll just skip for now. Just think about blocking and then being able to Mystic Shot, but we'll just we'll just wait. Luck, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. No, we hit the Fort Amasia. You know, we'd rather hit Shock Blast or getting two three threes or something. Let's get to work. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. So I was thinking about Will of Ionia, but we're going to wait on Will of Ionia, actually. Okay. So I think we're just going to go ahead and live, live Travelers. Made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. We march. Go away. So I think my plan will be, like, whenever they play their six-cost spell that would level up blocks, then we're going to Will of Ionia in response then. Um, Mystic Shot only costs one mana if we play it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'd give us eight mana for next round. Enough for a will and an aloof travelers. You dropped something. I dropped everything! Man, I hate Thermogenic Beam with that. But I kept on, you know, playing these Aloof Travelers here because I really wanted to find Deny, right? Like, that's that was the card I really wanted to find was, uh, you know, like, that would have been great to be able to deny that. Singular will. Coming through. Just 
kill me. They don't have a spell mana to put back right now. I'd like to play the Karma, but... I kind of feel like they have a removal spell, right? Like, that's, that's what it feels like. Oh, no, they're just planning on going four mana for that. Okay. Yes, deny. Okay, so I have five extra mana. Ugh, not enough to shock blast. You don't want to shock blast the Lux and challenge Lux. Oh, wait. We could. If we shock blast first... Then we get our three spell mana back with Forge of Tomorrow. And then we can hold Deny for their slow spell. Okay. Powering up. Ugh. Gross. I really don't want to deny that. Gross. I don't think we can. Pushing my limit. So we'll just have to shock blast again and kill Lux with the second shock blast. Let me know if you still want them science lessons, Chase. That will do, Axel. Nine mana. Counter that. And then Karma. Hope they don't have Thermogenic Beam or another... I kind of just hope they don't have Thermogenic Beam. Alright. Cool. We get to create a spell. Lies within. Dawn and Dusk and Singular Will again. I'm going to pass. I'm going to see if they spend a lot of mana and put stuff out of Maybe we get to Singular Will here. And maybe play another one of those six mana to get two three threes. I could see Concerted Strike being kind of likely. Yeah, that's I could go Forge plus Ritual. But playing this Forge like before Singular Will isn't amazing for me. Those other spells. Interesting use of tech. All right, so let's do a better job drawing deny. We had the one deny. The one deny was good. Okay, so those two flash of brilliance didn't look very good. Um, we're gonna take those out and put in time trick instead, 
and uh, that that can help us find deny you know like how we want to find deny or the assembly line shock blast how those two cards are so important um or you know our champion so let's let's get a couple of time tricks in here and let's try again okay so gangplank said 20. don't have lots of ways to kill the big champions we're keeping Forge Chief, of course. Could kind of see just keeping everything, though, right? Like, maybe Shock Blast on 3 if we refill. And then Aloof on 4, Karma on 5. Maybe we don't keep Karma. Let's get to work. We do have a couple... You know, we do have those Will of Ionias. Like, a Will of Ionia plus Aloof Travelers could be nice against... A champion. <laughs> Hello, new best friend. Yeah, I'm glad no parlay. Alright, so we waste one mana. Which one mana does mean no assembly line. Next round. Alright, so we'll take finance here. Which I guess I could have just played the financier right now, and I guess I will. Because we're just going to save our three spell mana. Um, I don't... Do we want to... Singular Singular will just seems so expensive. I know we tried that last game. Which is too expensive. I guess progress day it is. Shut up when I can. These gems brought to wear out the common. Alright, save spell mana. I'll shoot the wings off a Get rid of a champion, hopefully. Okay, I guess I'll get rid of the dreadway. That one's not bad to get rid of either. Could have got something that's more expensive than their champions. Black Market Merchant does reduce the cost. Man, I want to Shock Blast, but I also want to play Aloof Travelers. I really want to get Gangplank and Sejuani out of their hand. So I kind of think I have to do this and try to hit Gangplank and Sejuani. Yes, okay, good. Hit Sejuani. Um, if we Aftershock, we, still, we have six mana next round. Otherwise, we have nine. No. There's plenty of killing left. At least they used a warning shot on a round that they already were going to damage my Nexus. So two of those spells are mine. Two things they stole. Could really use the six mana to make two three threes last round. Should probably be killing Crap Shop for here also. We made it. Oh, they stole Aloof Travelers from me. That's alright. We don't have time for that card anyway. Stop nabbing my cards. My cards are good. I am reborn of salt and pride.
Architect just seems a little off. Architect's just a little off. Oh. So this just seems like a really bad matchup, right? Because Nav's great against us, and I can't kill either champion very well. So I don't know how we really win this. Because, yeah, this, this does seem like a very poor matchup. Love that trade. Very good trade for us. I think I'm probably just not playing Shock Blast this round, right? Come on, people. Let's make this just enables day. Parlay and Make It Rain, though, for them. Monkey Idol. I have Will of Ionia Monkey at all? I could see doing that. Monkey Idol is so strong. Just slow it. Let's go, people. Slows them down around. The Will of Ionia. The, the problem there is like Will of Ionia is like one of my only good cards against a champion, but it's not like, you know absolutely amazing against a champion or anything. Nothing beats field testing. Yeah, that's my plan. Challenger Jace. Challenge Monkey Idol. Next deck engaged. Kind of force them to spend six mana. Okay, on a on a harpoon. Are right, we really want to hit Sejuani? No. We're just we made it. Yay. so but bad against Nam. Oh, we hit Sejuani. All right, good. That's good. Like everything's like lined up really well for us this game, and I don't think we're gonna win. <laughs> That's... Yeah, they just have another Sejuani. That kind of stuff. But round five, that's the first Boys. time they've dealt damage to my Nexus. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Monkey Idol? What is this hand? There's plenty of killing left. Monkey Idol? You started without me. Yeah, I guess they're just gonna play a whole bunch of one drops. If I kill you, I don't fart you. Alright, so assembly line's definitely a lot better than Shock Blast, because I play Shock Blast and they can just play a whole bunch more one drops again playing assembly line. Yeah. Yeah, then we block and then they run out of room. Still. I kind of want to bolt this crack shot course there, but I think we pass. Well, I guess, oh, I could have just challenged the crack shot course there with the Jace. I should have done that. Seize the opportunity. Yes, I should have done that. I don't know why I forgot about that. Just kill me. Boy, help. I get one spell mana back. Like I could do that. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Doing this, I get you know get one spell mana back. That puts me at ten. Oh, 
I don't think Crackshot Corsair is the best one drop in the game, but I don't know. It is really good. So you can have an argument. All right, if I play Karma, then I can have five mana Thermal Jetting Beam to take out Gangplank. That's like really mana efficient, but then I don't have you know deny or any kind of protection for my two champions. They could have stolen a Shock Blast from me and just like kill both my champions, and that would be that'd be super sad. Then like the game's over. <sighs> Whatever the cost. All right, so maybe the play is just play Karma, and then save Deny, and don't play Thermogenic Beam yet. For silver, I talk. For gold, I All right, now that they played that, I can still have Monster Harpoon. I mean, this game plank's not going anywhere. I can kill it next round. And so many denies. Let's get started. We must make our own path. I'll take my time. Right, so game planks at four. The ocean herself will fear us. Guess we gotta transform. You'll die, <laughs> This is the cutting edge of progress. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Maybe we just do this. Wait, 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 wait. I just remember that's good. Jace is going to double. <laughs> All right, so that's worth it. Because we can still have the therm this thermo still. So we can have us discard our lowest cost card to draw three twice? That seems like too many cards. Does seem like too many cards. Oh. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. We really need two more mana. So my plan, I guess, is just like assembly line. I wish, I really wish we had two more mana and could keep two in disciplines, and then like deny Gangplank's attack ability. Replicating the power spike. It'll help. Okay. All right, now we can do this. That's probably better than denying Gangplank's attack ability. Yeah, yeah. Because if I if I twin disciplines first, then it's only two times two, which is only four. Yeah, each one of these added additional ones. So yeah, these things are tripled, not quadrupled. Okay, things have worked out. We get to hold deny. Interesting use of tech. Triple it up. Triple acceleration gate. All right. Gate is a go. Plus two, plus zero. Quick attack for everybody. All right, now plus two, plus zero in a random keyword, and now plus two, plus zero in another random keyword. Yeah. And then deny. Double up deny, just in case. And that will do! Awesome! Alright, so that worked out. We knew it would be How so about that? That was awesome. 
Uh, today, tonight, we're going to be streaming, I'm going to be playing the Path of Champions mode, the one-player mode in here, and we're going to be using Jace and going through, and, you know, not going through all of it, because, like, there's six levels that, you know, each one's like an hour, but we'll, you know, play through a couple of them. Yeah, we turned the, we had the Hextech Transmongulator to turn the Dreadway into a 2-2. They're going to be challenging and vulnerable and all that stuff. Twin Disciplines is, could be good here, though. But not a great Karma or Will of Ionia matchup. Alright, good. I like seeing the assembly line. And the Shock Blast. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. This just slightly. Is justice. Alright, so I think we have to just play one of these things. You know, like, I think that's just such better use of our mana. Than just playing Thermo right there, even though it would have been nice to Thermo. I think this is just a lot better use of our mana. Maybe Thermo next round. Oh, I would love to. Yeah. I don't love that attack, and then they sharp sight. Let's block, and then they sharp sight, and then we will of Ionia. That's not great. You've got a problem, I've got a price. You don't have to have both champions. It's a living. Yeah, yeah. Man, this isn't good. Cause like, do I want to just trade a three-three for a sharp sight? That doesn't seem like a good trade. From the rich and give to the us. Very kind of you to grace us with your presence, my lady. Axel, shut up. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now we talking. It's good against concerted strike. We love it when they run. Danger pays. Like, if their answer is, like, Concerted Strike, if they want to do that, then, we, you know, we could deny. There we go. Get him. Alright, not bad. We got Sivir out of here. Hopefully it's something that keeps that thing at 3 health. Now oh, tough. Blech. You dropped something. I dropped everything. That gun looks big. You no. cannot run from absolution. <laughs> hey, what's up, Carvanch? All right. Well, that didn't work out for me. I aloof traveler them into the action. So that didn't really work out. Is he taking Mystic Shots? We're not that far away from double Mystic Shots. You think Skip? Okay. Like, Mystic Shot was the one that I was considering. Would kind of rather have the Mystic Shot than that. Through me. 
All right, so because of the spell shield, we have to go with the Mystic Shot first to get rid of the spell shield, and then we'll put it back in their hand with the Will of Ionia, which still, you know, isn't very good for us, because that still allows them just to even replay the action and uh, get this Horde count countdown even more. I don't really envision us winning this game either. I think we, I think like really where we should have an advantage is against other J stacks, but we, you know, got out assembly line and shock blast against the other J stack and no denies. I've got one deny. Yeah, they're just getting this countdown going. Alright, so they have a lot more cards in hand. They're about to have this Warlord's Horde go to zero. They draw two more cards to the Preservarium. I'm just going to save time in my life. I, we're not winning that. Glad to hear that card advantage. Glad everything's going well. Why do we keep playing these same matchups? I'll play against Spell Shield. Okay, so we get to, you know, kind of play out a little better, right? One, two, three, four. So we're going to be curving out. Our units aren't as good as theirs. We just hope they don't have, like, action, right? Like, their attack is so much better when they have action. So whenever they don't... I would, I'd rather them have Sivir than have action if, you know, we could choose a champion for them to have. Obviously, last game they had both champions. And that made life really rough. I haven't played against this deck and they didn't have action in a really long time, though. It's been a while. I can see taking that Stand United, actually. Stand United is... Like, barriers are good against them. Wow. We actually got to kill action? Must be nice living off stuff. They must have another. That was unexpected. You've got a problem, I've got a price. It's one way to deal with the spell shield, I guess. Business as usual. Hopefully this works. I would be very surprised if it did work, but hopefully it does. Yeah. If only we had a thermal junk beam or a mystic shot. Hopefully we don't need a will of iron right now. That is what I pay you for. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. So my plan of hope my opponent didn't have lots of champions didn't really work out. Beats 
So now let's hope they don't have a fight spell. Hey, show me that again. I wouldn't mind one of these things getting challenger also. Like that that'd be like the best, like with the second keyword they get challenger. Oh, they just have another ride negation, that's cool. Except sarcastically. Um Let's get started. Nothing, I guess. Yeah, why not? Good card to double. The Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. My steel is yours. Watch your head. It's a living. Come on. Go away. Stop her for us, smack you. Just kill me. Alright, so returning this, you, of course, you know, they don't get the quick attack and everything. I'm surprised the server's not... Okay, so it's 24, so they're trying to do, like, this, then this, then it levels up. The third sharp sight. I'm also really glad they didn't just do that right away, and then get this thing, and then give them all, like, plus two, plus two, and spell shield, and then... And then their server just has spell shield again. Okay... So they should be drawing two now, though. Make two three threes and a karma next round. Oh, they gave now they gave him the plus two plus two spell shield. Really? True shot would kill both of those. All right, let's just try the karma first. Maybe it is true shot. Yeah, it probably is true shot actually. I think I was going to be waiting until next round for this true shot to be doubled, but wait till next round, then all these are like quick attack attackers, and that's a problem. How? I used to put them in the wrong order, but I guess I think they doubled up anyway. But. <laughs> Their draw is a, a fight spell? A removal spell? Okay, this draws. Is this draw going to be another removal spell? Probably not. The problem is now, you know, like, I wanted that karma to stay alive last round, so, like, round end we could have created a spell. You know, now we're not, like, round end creating a spell. Whatever the cost. Okay, they ran out of those now, but unfortunately I don't get to I do this, but okay, at least that's the last one of those, but man, they are, they are good at drawing removal spells. They are good at drawing removal spells. All right, down to two. Let's 
So they've gotten rid of two right of negations, two, three concerted strikes. Okay, cool. Just kind of keep a deny up, just in case. I don't know exactly what. I don't think they'd have, like, a judgment or anything. Okay, so just a two and three with Jace Karma. We got to do some powerful stuff sometimes, but then we also um, saw it kind of difficult without having great removal. Uh, that was, you know, kind of difficult sometimes for some champions and some spell shields and stuff. Um, but, you know, when it worked... It looked really good, <laughs> you know, when it worked. It did. And uh, we got to, like, triple acceleration gate one game. We were going to double acceleration gate another game, but then we got ride, ride of negation That was sad. <laughs> but uh, we saw there that last game, you know, we kind of took over the assembly line. I think assembly line is kind of, like, the most important card in these decks. Uh, like, this this thing is, like, what you want to be playing on round three all the time. Um, I could see playing... So, you know, like, that was the, that was the thing. You know, we are kind of behind some because we didn't always have assembly lines. Um, so I actually could see playing, like, one or two copies of Unlicensed... You're in here somewhere. Unlicensed Innovation right here. And just to give you another option to proactively play around six of just getting the 5-5, five five, I could see a 5-5 five five body doing pretty good. Will of Ionia wasn't as good as I was hoping for. Um, protecting Karma was harder than I thought. You know, the denies protect karma, but, you know, we also need to be, like, denying assembly line, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, lots of people are playing, like, Shock Blast and, like, the other Jace matchups. And so the three health for the karma and just, like, three threes being everywhere is kind of rough. But I definitely like the time tricks more, right? Like, we played the, um, the Flash of Brilliance the first game, and I definitely liked time trick more of being able to help us find exactly what we need or just, you know, just having the predict draw. I liked that quite a bit. Some of our wins, we were curving out better with, like, Forge Chief and Financier and stuff than normal. You know, it's a good first start, right? It It's not perfect. It needs some work. There are lots and lots of cards you can play. Uh, that's the thing about Rune Terra. There's lots of cards you can play in all these decks. And so playing these kind of slower decks uh, that have a good amount of interaction, you need to try to figure out what, you know, where are the points of interaction that you need. And so got to, you know, continue to figure out. But... Uh, you know, it's not perfect, but keep working on it, and there could be something here, because the one thing about Ionia is Deny is incredible these days, and we saw Deny be really good, and so, you know, being able to play a deck with three Denies, that's definitely um, a, a plus for sure. All right, but that's going to be it, though, for Jace Karma. Um, I guess the one last other thing, though, is Karma just is, you know, is okay, but it really wasn't, like... I feel like Karma is just kind of like your worst Heimerdinger, right? Like, I think you just, you'd rather just have, like, all these turrets and stuff that cost zero mana than maybe whenever the game gets to round 10, which is difficult to do, you cast multiple spells. Like, the best thing that Karma's doing is, like, this round end create a random spell, but I think you'd rather just have, like, the zero turrets. So, same, so, yeah, I, th I could see just playing this exact same deck, but just playing Heimer instead of Karma and just having more success getting those turrets, getting those blockers and everything. That's that's kind of the thing about karma is just kind of rather rather have Heimer. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it for Jace Karma. So as always, uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, you've got any other ideas for Jace Karma? Got any ideas to upgrade the deck? I'd love to hear it. You know, let us know in the comment section if you've been trying out Jace Karma yourself. All right, but that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next one.